Good day all, today we're going to be installing a B58TU high pressure fuel pump on a BMW 330E B48 hybrid. Hope you all enjoy and special thanks to Merlin Diesel who I purchased the B58TU high pressure fuel pump from. Uh, now we're going to be removing the engine cover followed by the right and left engine compartment covers Next step is remove these. You can see the bolts to remove. Let's do a little strap bar. Over layers so nothing could hold up here. Open this. Next step will be to onboard these. Right. This could actually come out one time as well. So to take out this truck bar, you need a E18 as well as a 16 millimeter for my car at least. This line will usually be here. That's usually for boost reference for the metal injection kit. Right. Next step will be removing these. Um, 
tree on the side. And we have one, two, three on the side, so a total of six. Right. Um, That's it. Let's see this line here. All right, next thing, stick on the other. batteries were then disconnected. You can replace the high pressure fuel pump without disconnecting the batteries but if you have the fuel lines open and you wake the car by either opening and closing the doors or if you accidentally press the remote you will get fuel pumping through the lines from the low pressure fuel pump causing a mess. You want to unjack the high pressure fuel pump For the P58TU high pressure fuel pump, the jack needs to be removed and rotated which eliminates the need for the extenders that people sell. Then break and disconnect the fuel lines going to the high pressure fuel pump and also to the fuel rail which makes it easier to remove. The two screws holding the high pressure fuel pump is then removed by evenly loosening. Then you could simply remove the high pressure fuel pump by lifting. Note there's a gasket between the high pressure fuel pump and the head. Here you can see a comparison of both pumps. There are slight differences. The stock high pressure fuel pump has two depressions where the gasket locks in place. The P58TU high pressure fuel pump is flat and do not have these. Also the stock high pressure fuel pump has a curve cut out while the P58TU pump does not have those. Both of these do not affect operation or seal in any way. The P58TU high pressure fuel pump is then 
lubricate it slightly using engine oil before installation. The B58 high pressure fuel pump is fastened using two screws using the same procedure for the removal. Basically, you want to tighten evenly on both sides of the high pressure fuel pump and then you want to torque it using required torque settings. Next, the fuel line is connected and tightened. Finally, the jack is reinstalled, ensuring it is pushed in fully and then flipped in. It is always a good idea to examine the high pressure fuel pump is seated thoroughly before starting. Next, you would want to start the car, ensure there are no leaks or faults. Just proceed to reinstall in everything. Special thanks to Merlin Diesel, who I procured the B58 TU high pressure fuel pump from. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more videos.